congressional gold medal. He received that along with uh, 300 other Tuskegee Airmen by President Bush um, for their, uh, as, a, as the highest honor as a civilian award. For American Airlines, this is one of our initiatives to reach out in our community awareness and, and ensuring that we are working with our, our communities, within our communities. And veterans initiatives are very important to us and initiatives around children. So this is where all of this comes together and also recognition of Black History Month. So for us, that's, that's really what this is about. It's an awesome event. The fact that you know we got to meet a living legend, somebody that a lot of people don't get to meet. A uh, guy who, uh, without him, I wouldn't be able to be a teacher. Uh, so it you know, transcends all generations. Like his wife said today, you know, it's not just an uh, African-American story for African-American History Month. It's an American story. And I'm just happy that the kids had the opportunity to meet, like I said, a living legend. This airplane that I'm holding my hand, uh, I came out of the service, And the war was over. Most pilots got up to, to fly this type of plane in Canada. But we were denied that privilege. To be in the presence of a, um, a hero, an American hero, a living legend, uh, or a living hero, I should say. It's just amazing and phenomenal. These kids I talked about having a deferred uh, gift, so they may not recognize it or realize it today, but just think 20 years from now when, when this Tuskegee Airmen story resurfaces and they can talk about being in the presence of one of the uh, last of, of the Tuskegee Airmen.